Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review Episode 204. This will be the 982nd episode of the anime. Kaido's trump card introducing a Tapa Rappi. Rappo. Yes. Yeah, I finally get introduced to, these, to this crew in this episode. Yeah, and these are its members. Now, two of whom have already been introduced already in the series. Yeah, and their stuff is basically like... They first mentioned the Kaido that they arrived, and of course they had some dialogue and say, "I didn't, I don't remember so many of them." And it's like, "Oh yeah, they arrived," and of course me in their room. These members now, to me, who made a debut prior to the whole debut of this group of pirates was X Drake and Page One. X Drake made his debut, I believe it was just prior to the time skip. I think it was back during the Marine Ford arc. I think that was the actually no, it wasn't Marine. It was uh. It was the Saba Odi arc. That was his debut. So, he's been around for quite some time. He's the only member of the top of Rappi, this group of pirates, where he's actually the one who's around the longest. The only member who made his debut prior to this particular debut group is Page One. Yes, because they mentioned in the episode about his defeat at the hands of Soul Mask, a.k.a. Sanji. Yep. And, well, the other members are... Siski, he is, well, a fish man. You have Black Maria. She is a giant woman who is 8, 8, point, 8, 8, 8 feet 2 inches. And she's the tallest of all the members. And for I read, she's as big as Kaido. The other members are who's who. He the actually a role in the last chapter. He is also a giant human. Like, everybody here is pretty big. There's also UT, who apparently calls her brother. Apparently, yeah, UT is Page One's sister, and she's the elder of the two siblings. She refers to him as a nickname of Pei Pei, and she tends to pounce on him because of brother and sister. Yeah, and it's interesting though when they, when they introduce this group. UT is the first one seen here, not Page One. Despite the fact he made his debut prior to this, UT it makes it her debut first. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Of course, they talk about well, what goes on with Queen. I'll get to that, and think they're irrelevant, which they're not. And it's great though that this group makes their debut here. We also have a brief scene here of Yamato. Yes, Yamato, Kaido's son. And what is Yamato doing? Using his club. Smashing rocks. Oh yeah, it still has the chain on his wrist. Yeah, the same chains that are used by the slave dealers at Sabaody. My guess is is that Kaido must have got that via his connections with Dolphamingo. But the episode starts off now. I, since we're talking about Parody, let's talk about basically the start of the very episode itself, which. Excuse me, that comes from page 8 of chapter 978, uh, 77. Yeah, a page that was surprisingly skipped over. Oh, and in case you're curious though, what they adapt from the manga this episode? Well, they adapted... Look at right, the page here, here we go. They adapted from pages 8, 11 to 14, and 16 to 17 of page 977. Yeah, for some reason it's good 15, my guess I might save for next week. And pages 11 to 17 of 978. Not the first episode did this. We'll adapt the second half first. Then the first half next episode. That's probably what they're going to do here. So basically. Kingdom on China will form a plan to attack the, the gate. And after chatting for a while. Then they realize. Oh crap. You, Luffy's beat him to it. And of course we see in the extended sequence here. Of Luffy using the Red Hawk. And it's made gigantic. It's, it's really the opening sequence here. And right afterwards, Zora finds booze, and of course they prepare to celebrate, adding Jean to the crew. I would think also they would add Carrot to the crew, given the fact she's been hanging out with them since, oh, I think it was just prior to the start of Whole Cake. She basically stole away on board the ship, and basically became an automatic crew member. Basically, she became a crew member kind of the same way that Nico Robin did. And as far as I can tell, she has much interaction with Nico Robin prior to this arc. Here she shares no screen time with her. So I have to beat everybody up. And of course you have Nami, Usopp, and Chopper 
congratulate all of them for being held up. And of course, Frankie's is, Frank is like, you guys could help too. Yeah, really. So Zoro brings the booze, and of course, everybody starts grabbing their drinks. Luffy starts to basically prepare a toast. He's powering through it, and then Kinemon shows up and says, hey, good job, Luffy. Thank you for, for clearing the way for us. And then, of course, he's like, okay. And then he decided to set his glass down, and he tells everybody, okay, so we have this booze here. Let's wait until Ath to beat the crap out of Kaido first, then go. That's a cool That's a cool sequence. And they go in, and that's the last you see of them. Meanwhile, though, inside the island itself, we see the Shogun chasing a bunch of women with a blindfold and playing with them. The Obi-Wan basically standing by protecting him. And meanwhile, we have Queen basically trying to prepare for his concert while eating a bunch of red bean soup. We also mentioned that, that Big Mom herself been eating some stuff. And Kylo mentions what, later on with her, like, what's taking her so long she's taking a long time to put her on? Probably because she's a big woman. And then we have, like, a sequence, like, I don't know, the most, the most they got this money from, like, what, what, what the, the revenue they got from One Piece Stampede, because this looks like, the, the style of the way this is done, this... This concert the Queen does in the episode. It's like the same type of stuff you would see in one of the One Piece movies. The more recent ones. Not the old ones that came out like the late 90s or 2000s. Not those. I'm talking about movies like Z, Strong World, Gold, and Stampede. Where it's done the same style of animation. as those really awesome movies. Because this sequence look, look a lot more expensive to make than the other sequences did. Because a lot of good flashing lights, a little bit of C, looks like a little bit of CGI thrown here too. And of course, you have Queen singing, of course. And it seems as though, like anybody can tell, that Queen's voice actor is not that bad of a of, of a singer too. After singing for a while, of course, as I mentioned, the top of Ropey has relevant. Mentioned like all the various. He doesn't go through every single class person. It goes to a couple of them. But it's a really cool sequence. I love it. I think it's by far the best thing about the episode is this concert. Yeah, that it's strange they put this in before the stuff that came before this. They probably did just a good setup for it next week episode. It's possible. Mm -hmm. But is there anything else to talk about here? No, not really. Kaido is basically just surprisingly. Kaido was not drinking this episode, which that's a bit odd. Actually, he's seen drinking like once but not as much as he usually is usually he drinks a lot kaido is a heavy drinker and in the case of the shogun he pretty much is telling the the the, the i want to go out there he of course was drinking and he's had to smash his his giant sake cup he drinks out of yes this particular sake cup is only exclusive to one piece he's not the only one i've seen use this particular sake cup like zor like zor i've seen the first time i saw this particular size like the first time in Canada, you see this size sake cup, that which is referred to as the father sake cup. This is actually uh, that's why I think it's called. The first time I remember seeing it was actually in dress at the end of Dress Rosa. The only time I've seen it aside from this arc was actually in Strong World. Yes, yeah, Strong World, an excellent movie. And of course, speaking of movies, the guy who directs this particular arc is the guy who directed Z. Yeah. One, one of the best of all the movies that he's done for One Piece, which has been dubbed, by the way. Yes, it has been dubbed. The last few have been dubbed, but not some of the early ones. I think the first, like, two or three have not been dubbed for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Hmm. Is there anything else I can think of? Well, aside from adding some original, original dialogue, this episode is really good. I love that. Really good episode. Can't wait for next week, which looks like they're going to adapt. From what I can tell, they're going to adapt that page and skip them from chapter 977, the rest of chapter 970, and maybe they might start in 979. It's possible. Yeah. And also, they're probably new, there's definitely going to be a new chapter released next week because there was no new chapter this week. Week off for this one. I wouldn't be surprised if next week, week off, probably Black Clover. My guess is presumably you could probably they could probably do it maybe at the release of chapter three hundred. Yep. So yeah, that's a particular view. I have well roughly two videos I'm gonna do. Next of course is gonna be Barto, and then hopefully after that will be Doctor Who. Okay? 
next video. Bye.